Well, I have come on here today because this is a day when I get off of work for inclement weather, so it's kind of been a different kind of day here today. I've kind of been posting some to my Facebook pages of how it's been in the shop, how it's been with patterns, but I've got little work to do today to show you all a little more <coughs> about how I work on these little bears. And one thing I wanted to show today is where I have already bent this saw here to a 45 degree angle. That is how I'm going to work today on these bears try to cut them along here where you will see that I have angled the table to where I can make a cut right about here which is about the place where their arm is going to come out. There's probably going to be a little more work to this that might involve some other tools like a coping saw or maybe a carving knife or something like that. That's the kind of stuff we're going to get around to as soon as we can, but we're going to take care of little matters here as they are. Take care of this right now. See where it goes. See how it goes. And I've done this before with these kinds of bears, so I know something about what I'm doing. Well, here is how this one goes. I'm going to try to do this one next. Apparently, for this one, we might have to do it in the opposite direction because we're going to try to figure out how this is going to go, but I think I'm seeing just now how I'm going to make this work. I could probably say that I cut a little too close there the first time, but there's going to be little work coming next to this. Try to Unfortunately, I have forgotten how I did this before, but I'd say that there's probably going to be a little ways to figure this out the further we go. I guess I'd say that um, I probably did kind of make the wrong cut here, but we can putty that in. I'm going to try to figure out what I'm supposed to do here to get the cut the way it is supposed to be. I do think I've gotten a piece here that's probably a little too open for the blade, maybe. I'd say that there's some of this that 
with the way it goes. Well, I had to stop the camera there and resume it so that I could kind of figure out a few things that I felt needed a little figuring out. I'm going to finally take a final step into one and... Now the thing of it is, is that one of the things I've been learning is how to move the throat or the neck of the saw up and down according to the projects you need to do. So that has been <coughs> one of those things where I realized the trouble was that I had it a little too low from something I had been working on in the past. But... I'm going to finally get to demonstrate a little more here because as you see here's where the hand is and again like I did before I am going to adjust the saw to a 45 degree angle. I had to finish it off camera for that one I was working on but this one I think is going to make it. Just need to... And here is where I got this one. And you may even note that I had to do a little cut twice to get into one of these, but I tell you, I think that I've probably got the cuts about where they need to be. I mean... Like I said, it's been so long since I've done this that I've got so much to figure out all over again, but I believe I'm going to have it sooner or later. this point we bring it back to a zero degree angle and I do think that from with these coming from different sides it's probably more difficult to get them as even as you need them to be so we're just probably going to have to putty some stuff up when we get back to working on these but I'm going to go ahead and take on the next step.
Now this kind of work, the way it goes is, I think we've probably gotten about as much into the arms as we can. I've probably got a little something I can demonstrate to you here as far as how we're going to putty in that little miscut. There's a lot of things you can use, but one thing I use is tacky glue and some sawdust. I'm going to have to get back in practice of doing this again because I haven't done it much. I've only done one of these bears before. There's just probably a time when this only gets to be the second one that I do. And right now I'm doing two, never done two before. And this tacky glue. Hasn't been used in so long that this little part that is out on the nozzle has dried up so much. And one thing I might need to do here is find a nail or a screw or something to get into the hole and punch it. So that it can be able to make its way out of the thing. So, well, and I guess what I'm going to use is this scroll saw blade. That happens to be what I'm able to find at the moment to do it with. And, well, that's going to do a little more, a little better than I hoped for, maybe. And... I'm come to say that this little work, oh, this little piece of work, I tell you, it's a piece of work. You know, it's kind of, also takes it a little more time to run sometimes through the bottle. So, we're going to try to deal with that the best we can. There's been times when I've cut these hands off before with one and just kind of come to say that the longer you carve, the more opportunity you have to kind of make every little mistake there is to make, do everything there is to do. I'd say that this little work is going to make its little way through little things and I've got little matters here. Got my own matters to take care of. So we're going to try to make this putty. I mean, some people will use a combination of super glue and sawdust. But for me, the tacky glue works a little bit better because it doesn't really stick to your hands while you're working with it. I'd say it kind of works well for me, so we're kind of getting that little bit in the best we, way we know how to have it in, and so this is one of those little projects that we're going to try to figure out how it works, and well, I tell you, I'm just dropping things left and right here because of the kind of day I'm having, but... I say we're gonna find things sooner or later. I say that I don't know where that bottle of tacky glue went. It just flew off the table and went somewhere. But after this, I've got one more thing to demonstrate on the saw. That is that, um, What we need to do is to, um, like I already did with these other pieces of teddy bear, that is to cut this, the part off that goes above the hand and the leg. So 
we're going to take care of this right now. We're going to first of all saw right here to get it started. And now we've gotten this much done into it, probably need to do a little more just to make sure we get it the rest of the way removed. There's a certain line like I drew on here that you ought to follow when you go about this kind of work, but we're going to take care of this other one here. And here is the place where we've come on this one. I do think that things are kind of a little uneven between both sets, but there's going to come a time when we're going to take care of that. Probably go ahead and take care of this little thing right now. And I will say that later on, there's a place in this arm that we're going to carve to kind of take away the wood here. But I'd like to, to officially say that this is probably about where it's going to go. Indeed, there is some work like this at which I ought to get more practice doing more than one at a time. And having done more than one before I start trying to demonstrate it on camera, but I'd say that this is how we've come so far. And we're going to find a way about this. I also would like to mention that I have some cherry ones that... I need to saw out as well, but do believe that's going to have to be something I'm going to have to do on my own, not demonstrate it in front of the camera, because like I say, little more practice needs to be done on this before I try to show much. So I'm going to end this video now and say to you all, take care. Just come on here to update you all and let you all know that after turning off the camera, I finally worked on the cherry pieces for the bears. They came out fine. There's probably a few lines in here that are going to come off when we carve them. So we're going to take care of that. And I'd like to show you all that how these ones came out as well. There's probably going to be places we're going to carve along to kind of make this little area behind the arm here when we take care of that. So just kind of wanted to let you all know that things are going well. Things have turned out just fine. And I would suggest that all of you let this be a lesson to you. Never try to demonstrate anything on camera until you've had enough practice doing it away.